This assignment is the Johnston Shelf Short Wall. This is the finished product. We're going to have the front wall here, and we're going to have the back wall here. And if you notice, the back wall, the back wall has got um, consistent board spacing of 16 inches on center or one foot four inches. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the back wall, and I'm going to create a space, and this space is going to allow the construction of the short end wall. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my SketchUp and I'm going to this is our newly updated toolbar so I'm going to grab my tape measure and let's just make a quick 3.5 mark some people want to put a line there, that's okay, whatever works for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this board over here. I'm not going to make new boards. I'm going to just kind of use the existing ones and then adjust them accordingly. I find that works much better. Okay, let's rotate that 90 degrees. Now let's put that in place like so. Now before you get too carried away, don't forget to make this thing unique. Or else other boards are going to receive those changes. Okay. Let's go into edit component mode. Still getting used to this new uh, toolbar. Okay, let's. I'm going to stop at my guide that I created at 3.5. Now, if you didn't make this unique, this board here would all of a sudden be a lot shorter. Okay. Now, once again, I'm going to grab one of these boards here. Let's work smarter, not harder. Going to rotate it accordingly. Now this board shouldn't require any additional adjustment. So now there's going to be an end board. There's always an end board. So I'm not concerned about spacing at this point. Okay. So I'm going to bring this board to the other end. You need two end boards, of course. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the spacing. And it's going to be 16 inches or 1 foot 4 inches. So I'm going to hold the control, drag it along that line. I'm going to type in 16 inches. Okay, now before I go too far, I'm now going to go X. Let's go just for good measure, 20. Enter. Now what that did is it created a whole bunch of extras. Now I just chose 20 just for the sake of exaggeration. But what it allows me to do is it allows me to delete all these extra ones. Obviously we probably need it a lot less than 20. So we definitely don't need this one here. And everything is spaced. 1 foot 4 inches or 16 inches on center. Now let's grab our bottom board and let's copy it over and make it our top board. Okay, so that wall is all done. Now, over here, big difference. There's no bottom board, much like the other one, okay? Now what that's going to require is we're going to have to grab one of these boards, make it unique, and we're definitely going to have to adjust its overall height. Okay, now let's Copy this over, like so. Now let's just double check our PDF file. And so you've got a two inch space there. So basically we're gonna add an extra board and we're gonna space it two inches. You always have, okay. Still getting used to this new toolbar. Okay. 
So you always have an end board on each end. So that's kind of how I like to start. So let's copy this. Type in two inches. And there we go. Now, what we have to do now is we're going to have to create some adjustments. For example, if you're looking at your stuff and it looks like this, what you need to do is you're going to have to make some serious adjustments. Now, a lot of you have probably gotten to this point, much like mine has, and I've done this on purpose to kind of illustrate what's going on. So these boards are the same as these, but without that bottom board, you're now missing the thickness of this. So this board here is going to have to get edited, and it's going to have to get a height boost of 1.5 inches. So let's push this up, 1.5. 1.5 like so. Okay. Now let's go over here and we're going to grab this one right here. Let's just grab this board like so and drop it off there. what we can do is let's position ourselves accordingly and let's just move this board up if we have made that mistake. So if you need to make it blue, make it blue and just move that up. Make unique. Edit that component and fix that just like so This portion of the video is only if you got here and you've discovered that you have got some short boards. Otherwise, this is not necessary. And that's it. That should be it for this assignment, the short walls. With the exception of this board here, if you brought that over, you're going to have to make that unique. And you're going to have to edit that component. Like so. And voila.